We're here at the domestic departures at Chinggis Han Airport off to Zavhan province where we'll meet a nomadic family and experience their way of life. Thank you. At this point in my trip, it's all names. I know where I'm going, Alder Hansum in Zavhan province. But what exactly this entails and who exactly will be receiving me is a whole other story. The family I am meeting is a family of four. They're strangers to me now, but I've heard that Mongolians are very hospitable people. I am still extremely curious about their lifestyle and how I will fit in. I'll find out about this and more firsthand at my destination, the nomads. Meet Ichinaro. She is the embodiment of the word hardworking. If you think a 9 to 5 job is hard, try Ichinarov's 18 hour day, 7 days a week. And she handles all of the organs and knows, knows everything, how to do it and where to open it and where to pour the water to take out the feces. I've never done something like this before. Meet Tovshimbat. He spends much of his time with horses, but when he's not in the countryside, he's studying to become an engineer at university in Ulaanbaatar. I wanted to ask Tovshimbat some advice about herding. Like everything else I tried that day, it wasn't as easy as it looked. Meet Nemka, my newest friend. When I first met Nemka, she seemed quite young, but the work she does gives her a maturity well beyond her years. She helps her mom at home and works at the spa, and yet she's not even finished high school. Not sure what the technical term is, but Nemka works in the mud department. So now when she carries two, it's about like this. And I can hardly talk. It's quite heavy. And she has to do about a two minute walk over there. And then this is just one trip in one day. Meet Batbuyer. He was born here and has lived here nearly all his life. During our time together, I really noticed his self-sufficiency in things both natural and man-made. Not only is he able to keep his car intact through rough terrain and currents alike, but he is also able to find natural substitutions for everyday products. Another way he uses nature is to predict the weather. So what is your prediction today for tomorrow's weather? Before I left the province altogether, I couldn't resist one final wander in the serenity of the countryside. It is here that I reflected on some of my accomplishments, peculiar adventures, best moments with the family and their herds.